Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to create a horror theme slash uh, overall horror effects for your edits. This video is actually suggested by a subscriber. Shout out to O Prize Llama. Thank you for the suggestion. O Prize Llama says, Hey bro, I'm making a killer clown film at school. Could you please make a tutorial on horror effects, please? Hell yes. And also, O Prize Llama, you did me a huge service today because I thought of an idea. If you guys want other effects like that could help you or, you know, is going along uh, hand in hand with the stuff you're doing in video production, tell me in the comment section below. Now I'm going to be taking suggestions from you guys, giving you a shout out at the beginning of the video if I decide to make a video on on your topic and um, of course helping you learn a new thing without wasting any more time let's jump into the horror effect theme slash horror effects all right guys so go ahead and open up premiere pro of course i'm going to be showing you in premiere pro but these effects right here are definitely not exclusive to premiere pro you can pull this sort of uh this this color correction and this this various different effects that i teach you here that are all kind of horror themed in any other program really to be honest I'm just gonna be walking it through Premiere. Now we got out the, uh, that out the way. Let me show you my th uh, my three clips. So these clips are from a Halloween party I filmed last year. Obviously uh, in October when it's Halloween, <laughs> um, and I just got three nice clips, right? So I've got this one, um, this one right here, and then finally this one. Um, this club really went above and beyond to get all of their people um, to actually dress up uh, as like crazy different characters like these people are all dancers hired by the club right that are all dressed up in crazy different horror kind of themes right the the theme of the party was like um a hospital vibe so it's pretty dope uh this definitely goes hand in hand with the horror theme that i'm gonna be trying to create with you guys today um and like i said of course i'm doing this video here literally because um someone left me a comment in the comment section below saying that they needed some help doing this kind of effect but without further ado i'm gonna be walking through how we can create a really nice film look and uh, overall um use uh the, the 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 extreme use of sound effects to actually bring this kind of edit right here much more to life and um truly the sound effects are extremely extremely essential when you're working on um, kind of like theming something for example if this wasn't a horror theme and this was like a war theme or something like that again the sound design is so crucial but first off i want to start with uh with bringing all these together and making them um have a really nice look over them so first off go ahead and go over to your um actual uh like projects section where all your clips are kept go up to file create a new adjustment layer boom Go ahead and create the adjustment layer, bring it over and just go ahead and put it on the top of your clips. And uh, this right now is really just gonna be creating the theme. Then we're gonna wanna go over to color, of course, boom, and um, start actually messing with everything. So first thing I like to mess with, um, if we're really trying to create more of a horror -y theme is bringing the attention into the center. For example, here, this crazy looking chick right here with a knife in her mouth. We wanna kinda round off those edges bring kind of like a vignette in, a uh, v-net, honestly, however the hell you pronounce this stuff. Just go ahead and start toning your mount on the vignette, actually down towards like the minus three, and pretty much just mess around with this until you can kind of start to see, right? Look, so that would obviously be too much, or I don't know if you're really going for some crazy horror stuff here, um, maybe bring that all the way in. But for me, um, I'm going to find a nice balance where um, we're kind of singeing the edges off kind of making it a little bit more eerie type of thing like that. And um, honestly, it's really just a, a, a case of messing around with this stuff to see which um, which kind of presets or not presets, which kind of um, numbers are good for you or whatever, right? Once you've created a basic sort of vignette like that, the thing I love to do is going up to creative. And this is kind of where Premiere Pro is really, really cool because you can get loads of LUTs, which are just built in kind of presets. The one I like um, and the one that works really well for horror and also a lot of other stuff when you're trying to just bring, um, uh, make it a little bit more eerie is the Fuji Eternal, uh, Eterna 250D Fuji 3510 by Adobe. You pop that on there and boom, instantly that's looking a lot more kind of horror-y, uh, so to speak. So if we just go ahead and play this through, instantly now compared to what it was before, these guys are looking a lot more, uh, a lot more drawn in, a lot more horror-y, especially this clip right here. So if we go ahead and just go to one of the bits where it's strobing, that looks pretty cool. Um, boom. So that right there, let's go ahead and pop that on full. That right there is obviously looking pretty dope now. If we go ahead and turn off 
the adjustment layer, you can see how much of a difference that adjustment layer really has done. That right there, you're quite aware that it's been shot, you know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't look that cool, it kind of looks like more of a flat image. Then boom, instantly we turn off just a simple, uh, we turn on rather, the simple adjustment layer right there, and it's instantly looking more um, horrific and much, much cooler to say the very least. But overall, instantly just from doing a super simple color correction like that, it's looking very, very dope. All right, so boom, I would say that is our basic horror color correction done, and now we can really move on to the next steps of this right here, um, and that would essentially be the sound design. And sound design, honestly, um, is so, so important for actually creating just the mood and the theme of this particular um, genre right here. Obviously, horror, this, but like the sound really plays almost the biggest part, you, you could argue, with all the jump scares and everything like that. So that's really what I want to focus on today. Overall, how we can make this three clips just seem a little bit better, seem a little bit more uh, like they've come to life. So first off, what I want to actually do is go ahead and just download... Um, is go ahead and download a, uh, a soundtrack. Okay, so I found where I want to start it, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and line up my clips with the first beat that I want to bring everything in on. And I am actually just going to be focusing now on creating a title for this scene right here at the beginning. And also, we have a variety of different effects um, in terms of the uh, sound effects that we can use now to blend this into each other. So. First off, I want to go up to the graphics, right? And we are going to put hover. Now what I'm going to do actually is begin to uh, sync this up to the music. So it opens up the clip, boom, boom. And each beat, I just want to do a little something to the text. So I'm going to make a cut on that beat. Just go to the text and just make it 105. Boom, a little bit bigger. Boom, go to the next skip. Go ahead and make it 110. Now, if we play it right now, let's see what that is looking like. Boom, so it's looking cool already, but of course still, still quite basic. Um, it definitely looks cool on the intro. Honestly, we may even need to bring that up. Maybe that goes to 110, and then the next one actually goes to 120. Now what we wanna do is go back over to our library and just go ahead and find our horror sound effects. So go ahead and down your, uh, download yourself some horror sound effects, guys. I'll play a few of mine, right, so you can get the idea, right? Literally, if you type it on YouTube, horror sound effect, I'm sure you'll find some stuff exactly like this. Exactly some shit exactly like this boom So basically just kind of the noises that are played when jump scares come through right if you download a bunch of these sort of effects like this This right here is how you can start really setting the mood So I'm actually gonna drag this one here, which looks like a nice big one and I just want to put that at the end that sounds like a nice way to end this now guys I just want to go ahead and duplicate some text go ahead and pop that text in there right there and just write fit Thin with the period, and then we'll also make this kind of like a red. Actually, I quite like that red, so let's go ahead back to that red. Go ahead and just steal the color code of that. Go ahead and just change all of these. Boom, and now what I want to do is just go ahead and grab some smaller sound effects. Just go ahead and drag those in to the middle bits. And what we want to do with this one is actually just have this on minus 10, so that's more of like a subtle. Then we get another one. Boom, and let's also bring this one to minus 10. Oh shit, plus six, what the hell? And now let's actually play this. I'm to, Jesus. All right, so, so far, the only thing that I wanted to change was that first sound effect. It really did not suit at all. Um, it is just messing around with your project, but I like that, that second one as well. So let's see if that looks okay playing both of them whole time. All right, I'm just gonna actually go ahead, go up here, sequence, render in and out. I just wanna see this in very good quality. And I think we've actually 
started to create an atmosphere to, to say the very least with this clip right here with these three clips right here rather and we definitely started to create a vibe that this is a horror project and uh you know what i mean there's just a couple little cool ideas that i had at the very end that could maybe make this more suggestive that it is horror um <laughs> hold tight this is nearly finished I think the fin goes a little bit too quick and that first sound effect is obviously not minus 10. I forgot about that until it started playing there so it sounded a little bit uh, too loud and out of place. Okay and if you guys have made it to this point honestly huge credibility to you. Um, if the dude who suggested this is still watching blessings to you man. Um, I, I honestly hope this really has come together cool for you. Uh, there's one tiny little thing that I want to do last. This is the dip to white. This is just to blend all these and actually make these sound effects just make a little bit more sense. Um, just go ahead and drag this dip to white actually onto the beginning of the first clip. Go ahead and adjust it so it kind of happens decently quick like the sound effect does. Boom, nice and quick. Next one, throw that just on the beginning of the, of the second clip. And now guys, if we go ahead and play this, let's see what it's looking like. Finally. Just like that guys, that is how to create yourself a cool horror theme to your edit. Overall, I really hope uh, this helped the one dude who suggested this, this type of video right here. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and goodbye.